I use an SLR to shoot pretty much all the photography on my blog. And this is the flash that I use with my SLR. It's a Nikon SB400. It's about the cheapest flash they make, but it, it works pretty well, actually. Uh, shoe fits on top, and then it's got this flash so that you can flash forward or kind of different angles and up. Um, unlike the traditional ones, which usually sit like this and then either shoot this way or angled up, um, it's kind of hard to get a reflector on it. Those, you can usually attach something here and have it hug. This guy, because he automatically faces forward and then rotates up, it's a little different. It's a little difficult, actually. Um, I've seen someone who has a thing that straps on, and then there's a pivot point so that you can pivot a reflector to reflect some of the flash forward. Um, but they're kind of expensive, and I wanted to see if I could make my own. The tricky part of this project is coming up with a hinge where you can attach it to the top, adjust it, and then leave it you know, just and leave, so that you can put your reflector on there and set it to whatever angle you want and know that it's not gonna kind of flop over. Um, normal brass hinges, like this guy I've got here, are pretty floppy. Um, so what I did to this guy to get him to move and sit, as you can see, is um, I took a center punch, or actually this is just a drift punch technically, um, and I hit him a couple times to get this to the point you do a little hit and test. And uh, this one's actually about perfect. So I'm gonna see if I can do this guy on camera. This is the only one I have left. So hopefully I'll do this right. Let's see, how's that? Oh yeah, that's perfect. So that's exactly what you want. You just want one good little hit in the center. Um, not too much, you can always do more. I'm not sure how you would straighten something like this out, but um, yeah, that's perfect. So then all I would do, come up with a way to attach it here um, maybe epoxy it or just wrap some velcro or something around and then get a little plate of wood here so that I can push put my reflector on there maybe um, make it velcro backed or something like that so I could have different color cards or different reflectivity of cards all right my experiment with uh, trying to peen this thing on on camera worked out well so we're gonna press our luck uh, you should probably never do anything that's really important on camera the first time, but we're going to throw caution to the wind. So I uh, looked around a little bit, and I found this hardboard that's got this clear, it's not melamine, I forget what this stuff's called, but um, kind of reflective uh, white coating on it. Um, so that, I think, will be my reflector, and if it's too shiny, I'll just put a piece of paper or something on it. And then I've got my hinge with some 3M VHB tape. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and peel this off and stick it. Ooh, not like that. Like this. Uh, so let's, again, throw caution to the wind. And make for excellent television as I peel. Alright. Careful. Okay. So far, so good. This stuff's actually kind of forgiving. You can peel it up and do, um, have a redo or two if you're careful. Um, and this is sort of an experiment. I may end up peeling this off and doing this a different way. So if you want this stuff to really stick, the best thing to do is to clean all the surfaces. Uh, so we just give this a little lick. There we go. Perfect. Just like mom used to do. All right. So I have positioned this somewhat poorly. Um, but you know what? Heck, this thing cost me like nothing. So we'll give it a shot. I uh, will have to take some pictures with and without this reflector now.